Hi, I'm Gina. Hi, I'm Perry. And this is Five Minutes with Gina and Perry. Unless it takes more than five minutes, in which case <laughs> you can shut it off. <laughs> anyway, so the thing that everybody has been talking about in the news lately is the scandal of uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry deciding to have their own like, life and do something other than have a uh, camera shoved up their butt about every single thing that they do. And I find it fascinating that this is what they talk about. Meanwhile, Prince Andrew uh, knowingly befriended a friggin' pedophile even after the guy goes to jail for being a pedophile. And he gives this half-ass excuse about how, oh, uh, well, uh, I'm so sorry, I couldn't possibly have danced with that girl because I don't sweat, right? Like, come on, give me a fucking break. And there's pictures, well, it couldn't be me because, well, uh, I wouldn't uh, dare uh, touch a pretty girl. Not like all the other photos there are of me touching pretty girls. I mean, it's just ridiculous and they want to talk about the scandal of two people deciding they want to work for a living and not live off the dole that's a scandal meanwhile this guy's a friggin pedophile and that's not i think our priorities as a society are pretty screwed up if that's the priority yeah i agree and and, and then related to that uh today on the news we see the queen's letter saying that um, she's willing to, you know, agree that they should have their own lives. It's going to be a transitional process. So she's got this grandson who's the son of a woman who was killed by photographers because she divorced the prince, right? And then she's got an, a son, Andrew, who's, I think, a pedophile and is being shielded by a bunch of rich pedophiles. Right. And in the midst of this is this old woman who's got the weight of all this history on her shoulders. Remember, her, her father died, and the monarchy was really just dumped on her when she was very young. And if you've watched The Crown, even though it's a fictionalized biography, you'll see that the, the traditions and the culture and the weight of the monarchy are very serious to her. And she has lived her life with great integrity just trying to get by after having been handed the worst shit job on the planet. Uh, Buckingham Palace is, a, is like a, a public restroom in terms of comfort from what I've heard. So yeah, they're all rich and we all like to, you know, make fun of them and or look up to them. They're just people. And then you've got Meghan Markle who in the show Suits was in love with a man who was a complete fraud, and then she marries a prince, and now she's accused of trying to bring down the monarchy. Uh, she's been called a black terrorist. Uh, they called her baby uh, a chimp. Oh, yeah, picture of yeah. Uh, the baby as a chimp, yeah. which is just absurd. And, and under under it all is this racism, this hatred, this this putrescent pool of shit that people have been creating for years to protect rich white men. You know, rich white men, they got it made, you know. Uh, if I was a little whiter and didn't have this, this honky nose that betrays me as having Balkan ancestry, I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender, <laughs> you know. So what do you think about it? I mean, you know, put it, put it down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because uh, this is going to be a regular thing and, and give us some likes because we're trying to create some conversation that isn't dominated by the freaking news media even though we've been brainwashed so much that's all we can talk about right now isn't it wild i mean stop and think about the impact of surveillance and constant exposure to media and then people telling Alexa what their driver's license numbers are. I mean, it's nuts. That sounds like another five minutes. It does sound like another All five right. minutes. We'll so anyway, time. weigh in on the British royal family. And uh, God bless the queen. <laughs> and uh, all the other guys that dress like women. Oh, and at last, res I'm sorry, at last resort, we'll have Lewis Black comment. Nobody gives a shit.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>